birthday photo shoot ideas. This video, I'm gonna share with you 10 ideas for your next birthday photo shoot. If you want to know more about how to look and feel amazing in your photos, you just need to subscribe to my YouTube channel. So go ahead and click the subscribe button below. So now let's start with these fun ideas. Number one, I woke up like this. I want to start this video with this quote-unquote simple idea, which is taking a photo on your bed where you actually look that you just woke up. What I love about this idea is that it kind of transports you to this moment when you were a kid and maybe you woke up and you have all these presents and all this like very birthday energy. And it is still a very simple idea. You can add a couple of balloons and you can also add a little bit of shine to the moment. To get this photo, the only thing that you're gonna need is a couple of props and you can actually ask a friend that takes this photo for you but uh, the cool thing about this is that it could actually be just a selfie and it's gonna look as good the numbers the numbers game have actually been very trendy in all social media for a couple years now so it's not really like a new trend but still it's a very appealing way to present your birthday in social media there are actually two ways that you can make this photo happen. And one is on location and the other one is at home. If you're doing it at home, I will recommend that you have a plain background so that all the attention in the photo is just on you and the numbers. So just choose any wall that you have at home and try that the lighting is coming in front of you so you get a better effect on how your skin is gonna look for this photo. The other option is on location. So I will suggest you to do a little bit of pre-production, just maybe go around your town and see a place that it really shows uh, like something very beautiful about the place that you live in or a place that you're traveling for your birthday. The cool thing about location photos like this is like it looks like it's natural, which I really like. And if you add a little bit of a walk to your shoot, it's gonna look even better. Shine bright like a diamond. This idea is actually very Tumblr and I'm a big fan and I'm actually thinking to do it this year for my birthday photo. And it's to use a couple sparklers in your photo. Instead of having birthday candles, you can actually have sparklers or maybe you can just buy sparklers and play around with some of your friends. With this photo, you're looking towards something that it looks a little bit vintage, a little bit Tumblr, but still have some dynamic going on in the photo. So it is a very cool idea. The midnight snack. Actually, Selena Gomez did this photo and I really thought it was a very cute especially because somebody like a celebrity like Selena Gomez she does a lot of photo shoots so to see her at her home like very it felt like a very personal moment it really makes you feel more connected with her so if you are looking for some sort of effect like that I think like the midnight photo it's actually pretty cool I'm a queen so this trend is something like completely opposite from uh, what we're having before. This kind of photos take a little bit more pre-production and post-production. And they look way more like a studio, a very controlled photo shoot. But if you want to give yourself the present of a photo shoot where you feel and look sexy and you're embracing your birthday, I think this is a great idea. This specific photo that I found, I thought that it if she just looked very happy she really did look like a queen and even though that it's a very sexy photo it's not really that revealing and i'm really into that balance where you look you look nice you look sexy but you don't necessarily look vulgar so i thought that this idea it's just on point especially if you really do feel like a queen on your birthday till the sunrise 
What I like about this photo is that it gives you the feeling that you actually party all night, you still look fabulous. So I love this idea of being all glam up, kind of chilling on the floor, but still getting some little props here and there that really shows that it's your birthday. I believe that this will be a great idea when you're turning something like 21. You better eat it. This idea, I feel like it's the most sensual of all of them. And it's really this like exploring your sexuality, Britney Spears kind of thing. Honestly, it's not really my personal style, but it's definitely an idea that I'm sure that a lot of girls can rock and roll and look amazing. It's just eating the cake. Of course, when you're eating the cake, it, you can make it look very cute and like, oh, I just got a little bit of cake on my nose and I'm just like this. Or you can actually make it very sexy and like lick your fingers and look very sexy at the camera and get all dirty. It's definitely a trend, but it really depends on your personal style. BFFs. So if you're all about enjoying your birthday with your friends, there's a couple ideas that you can do with your friends. It's to photograph a PJ party. What I really love about it is that when I was younger and I used to stay in my friend's house, it will be those moments that it, they were the best. Like even better than just going out and party on the nightclub and all this stuff. Being all together, maybe having a couple of drinks, talking about boys and talking about all the things that were happening in our lives. And I think that if you have the possibility to photograph this and actually have fun while you have a PJ party at home and photograph it, I think that it's a great memory to have on your birthday. I feel like in a way or another, it brings other people together to this moment in your social media, which I love. I deserve it. The I deserve it photo, it's all about being glamorous. It's all about showing off all the things that you got for your birthday. Maybe your boyfriend, maybe somebody very special gave you a very special surprise. So this idea is for those girls that want to embrace that they deserve to get everything on their birthday. And if you are like that, you will love this. And most of the time, these photos that you actually see in social media, especially these kind of photos, I don't really think that not even 1% of the people that have took this picture, actually somebody have done it for them. Most of the times, the girls just, they work very hard to get this photo and they get their pre-production. So it is more about finding the bags, the gifts, the balloons, the cake, and really posing on your bed. Definitely the whole idea of this photo is to show a very glam life. So usually the people that take these photos, everything looks very on place and everything looks very organized. Not necessarily how my bedroom looks right now. But yeah, the more into place that things are, the better really it's gonna look because it does look, the photo does look a little bit clotted, like a lot of things going on, the balloon, this and that, but if you give a space to everything, it can actually be a very good final shot for you. I actually would love to know if you use any of these ideas or if you have done it in the past. Let me know in the comments. Also, if you have a new idea that you want to share, share it in the comments as well. And before I go, I want to let you know two things. And the first thing is that I have a photo pose course that it's completely for free. So if you want to learn five poses that are going to save your photos, just go to my description box that I'm going to leave you the link there. So you can go subscribe and get your super course completely for free. And the second thing is that if you want to keep getting great tips on how to look amazing in your photos, you just need to subscribe to my YouTube channel and be part of the family. See you next time, Shutterbox. Don't forget that you're beautiful and special.